And now, News Channel 10's 24-7 local weather first alert forecast. Well, good Wednesday morning, everyone. We're seeing rain across the area here before the sun even comes up on your Wednesday morning, and we're expecting this to continue. Let's jump right in and take a look at what we're seeing on satellite and radar. Here as we start out the morning, heaviest band of rain obviously way off in the east right now, but we're still seeing scattered showers around much of the region. Thankfully, like I said, we're expecting those chances to continue for most of the day. So basically how things are shaping up right now, low pressure system tracking in. As of this morning, it's centered right over the top of Las Vegas, Nevada. It's bringing in Pacific moisture. We're seeing southeast winds bring in Gulf moisture as well, and that's just keeping that atmosphere really nice and humid out there. We're seeing low-level clouds, dreary conditions all day long expected. So looking at water vapor, this is kind of the available moisture in the atmosphere. You can see maybe a little bit of a dry spot there down off in the southwest. And that's not necessarily to say that it's going to stay that way, but maybe not quite as favorable down off towards the southwest. Let's take a look at your forecast for the day today. We're just going to go just every couple hours here because it's really expected to evolve here. You're going to already start to see wintry mix and snow up in the northwest, but really more rain than anything else around much of the region. As you can see right there, just expecting those showers to persist for most of the day today. Scattered, moderate rain kind of on off all day long. Snow is still up in the northwest going into your Wednesday evening and then overnight then you start to see that snow pick up just a little bit, maybe taking a quick break from the heavier bits of rain early tomorrow morning, but you'll see it pick right back up as we go on into, as you can see, the afternoon hours. You'll see that snow coming in for more of the northwest corner of the area, but latest model guidance does have that snow staying a little bit further north, not coming quite as far south as it showed it yesterday. So it is kind of showing a more northerly trend in that snow. So still expecting impact wintry, uh, wintry weather impacts up in the northwest, but it's not expected to push quite as far south as we originally anticipated. As you'll see by 5 o'clock tomorrow, scattered showers, snow further up in the north, and then as you can see right there, showers kind of push across the south and the east going into Thursday night before the system generally moves on out of the area going into your Friday morning. Maybe a few lingering showers there. So let's take a look at what we know so far, how things are shaping up. So like I said, model data is kind of indicating right now that snow is staying further north. Now, it's not the end all be all. Obviously, that can change, but that's the way things are shaping up right now. Several inches could be seen in our northwestern counties that do see snow. And of course, that's a thing. We may see a few flakes, maybe some light accumulations as far south as places like Amarillo, but I'd say those chances are a little bit more slim than what we originally saw earlier. So looking at watches and warnings, they've upgraded that winter storm watch up in, as you can see, Union County, Dallum, Cimarron counties up to a winter storm warning. That is where they're expecting snow totals around two to three inches plus. Could be seeing more than that. Of course, you get into the higher altitudes, more snow can be expected. And then all those counties you see there in purple, stretching up through Guymon in southwest Kansas. That is a winter weather advisory for the possibility of one to three inches and otherwise icy conditions. So we're going to keep a close eye on that. So the way things are shaping up right now, this is kind of, as you can see right there, Amarillo is kind of right on the edge of places that could see snow, while other parts of the region, as you can see, further north and northwest, several inches possible. But for most of the region, more rain than anything else. So with your seven-day supercast, we're locking in those rain chances for the day today. They're going to continue all day long. 44 for your high. We'll only drop to 34 tonight, and then we'll only warm to about 30 or so for your Thursday with a 90% chance of that wintry mix. Maybe a 20% uh, shot of seeing some lingering showers into Friday, but then we start to see temperatures warm up into the upper 40s and then 60s as you head on into the early parts of next week. Keep it locked here to News Channel 10 for the latest. We're going to be giving you updates all day long with the latest on what you need to know as we're tracking a pretty wet couple of days.